In this problem, we're given a whole life insurance of 1,000 with semi-annual uh, premiums on age 80, gross premium of 60, paid every six months starting at age 80, commissions are 10% of the premium, and it's only paid when the premium is paid. Death benefits are paid at the end of the quarter of death. So we're given the gross premium reserve at time 10.75 is 753.72. We're given a life table, so this one we're going to use to calculate the probabilities. And we're given a nominal, nominal rate of 8%. So we want to find the gross premium reserve at time 10.25. So what we're going to do here is look at starting age 90. So the reason I'm choosing age 90 is because it's 80 plus 10.25 and 10.75. Well, those are both uh, 90.25 and 90.75. So I'm gonna, the lower bound will be 90, then let's say the upper bound will be 91. So we're looking at ages between 90 and 91, basically. Okay, so the premium, the gross premium is $60, payable every six months, starting at age 80. So that means it's gonna be paid at age 90. Also, 90 and a half because it's every six months and then 91 etc there's a 10 percent commission so commissions are also going to be paid at the time when the premium is paid so 10 percent of 60 is six that's going to be the commission okay so the question is now we're given you know a couple of these ages like 90.25 90.5 90.75 like which age should we start? The answer to that is start with the age where there's most activity. In this case, 90.5 has the most activity because that's when a premium is being paid. So let's start off with that time. So 90.5 refers to 10 and a half years uh, after the starting age. So we're gonna add the gross premium and subtract the expense. Multiply that by the interest rate. That's going to equal the death benefit. And then times Q. So this will be 90.5. And we're only going up to a quarter. So we're going up increments of a quarter of a year. And then we're going to add probability of 90, age 90.5 surviving a quarter year. And we're going to multiply that by the reserve at time 10.75. And so now we just need to plug in. Well, 10.5 we don't know, so we're just going to leave that as an unknown. The gross premium is 60. Expense is 6. The nominal rate is 8%. So we're going to divide that by 4 to get the quarterly rate of uh, 0 0.2. Or sorry, 0 0.02. So that's 2%. The death benefit is 1,000 because it's a whole life insurance of 1,000. Okay, now for the probability of dying age uh, 90 and a half in the next quarter year, that's one minus 90.75 over L of 90.5 and the probability of surviving is a complement of that. And then we're going to multiply by the reserve at time 10.75, which is the 753.72. Okay. So let's, on, on the side here, let's look at this. L of 90.75 over L of 90.5. That's going to be the 706 over 800. So we're going to replace this with 706 over 800. And then this will be 1 minus 706 over 800. Okay, so there's one equation, one unknown. So we do some algebra and get that the gross premium reserve at time 10 and a half. C is 713.31. So 
So our goal is to get the gross premium reserve at time 10.25. So what we're going to do is use this recursive formula one more time to get the 10.25 reserve. Now keep in mind, 10.25 refers to age 90.25, and there's no uh, premium or expense there. So when we're looking at this part of the formula, the, the gross premium minus the expense, there's nothing there. So that's just going to be zero. Okay. All right, so we start off like this. It'll be the gross premium reserve at time 10.25. And then we're going to multiply by the interest rate, 1 plus i. The death benefit times, now we're looking at uh, 90.25. So it's 10.25 uh, plus 80. And again, we're working in quarter year increments. And we want to add the probability of surviving quarter year at age 90.25. And then we have to multiply that by the gross premium reserve at 10.5. So the gross premium reserve at 10.25 is my unknown. So that's what I want to solve. The interest rate, well, we said we had to take the 8% divided by 4 to get the quarterly. So that was the 1.02. Death benefit was a thousand, and now the probability of dying in the next quarter year at age 90 and 90.25 is one minus 90.5 over L of 90.25, and then the probability of surviving is a complement. The gross premium reserve at 10.5 is what we just calculated. That's a 713.31. Now in order to calculate the probabilities, well, let's write it out. L of 90.5 is the 800, and the 90.25 is 898. So we're going to replace that. So for here, we're going to say 800 over A98. And same thing with this. Again, there's one equation, one unknown. So with some algebra, we get that the gross premium reserve at time 10.25 is 730.